everyone and welcome to August and um, before I start I just want to say thank you very much to all the new subscribers and um, all the lovely people who have commented and liked videos and shared them. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. This is quite a new thing for me to be doing, so it's quite small um, at the moment. So I really appreciated that extra boost to begin with. So, um, and I know that some of you are hoping to get readings, so I'm gonna do the draw to get do the free readings thing to see who wins um, in just a minute. Uh, but I just want to say I might not be doing this again immediately, but I am thinking of doing it quite regularly. So we'll see when I get around to doing it again. But um, thank you so much for taking part and please keep commenting and liking and, and um, participating because it all helps and it just keeps that nice flow of reciprocity going, you know, give and take, which is really, really lovely with these things. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to just go straight into this now and just let you know that I had a look at the videos and if you weren't expecting or hoping for reading, you can go past this bit. So. The sign that, did, uh, that gave the most likes was Virgo and the sign that gave the most comments was Libra. So I've picked, I uh, had a look under the videos and there was only one person who asked for a reading under the Virgo uh, video and that's Tara Mills. So there's, you know, it's just you Tara and you've won a reading. So contact me please using, uh, you can use the link under the video and then go to my website and use the contacts page there. And um, so we've got Libras. I've picked the names of the people who asked for readings from Libra. And I'm going to just pick one of those. You can see that. Yeah, okay. Uh, all right, Spirit, you guide me. Okay, here. Right. So we've got, I knew it was going to be that one. That's right. <laughs> It's Sawenika Reed. Okay, so Sawenika, can you please get in touch with me and um, we'll um, sort out a, t uh, a reading. Just get some questions from you. That's all you need to do is to just contact me, let me know it's you, and uh, I'll get some questions from you and record your reading for you. And it will be posted up on the channel soon. Okay, so um, welcome to August, everyone. Uh, July was a very interesting month, <laughs> as they all are at the moment. I hope you enjoy your reading. I'm going to get straight to it now. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hello, lovely Taurus. So, welcome to August. And this month is going to be all about home for you. You're going to be thinking about home. You've got the sun in the fourth house and the new moon solar eclipse is going to be encouraging you to leap into the new. And it's not necessarily just about home. For some it will be about emotional security. It will be about um, taking care of yourself, your feelings, your sensitivities, just being really kind, really gentle with yourself and not allowing anything to dis distract you from that or to pull you into getting triggered um, is what I'm hearing about old um, old issues, old things, old ways of, of dealing with things. Also, this is about family for you. It's going to be about just being really clear with yourself about what feels good, what feels good to have around you, what environment you want to be in, and how you can renew all of those areas of your life and make changes that may have been looming for a while um, so that you can leap into a situation that supports your, your career aims and your dreams in that respect a lot better. So you're going to be thinking about leaving some things behind in terms of how you appear in the world, um, your, your message, your, um, your career. You're going to be thinking about leaving things behind that stop you from, from feeling emotionally secure. Anything that makes you feel a little bit um, unsure about your, your situation or where you are in life or, or make you feel a little bit as if the home issue isn't completely settled. It's going to be all of that sort of territory for you. So you are being asked to take a leap forward in that direction, in the direction of new things that will give you a greater sense of emotional security. So let's just see what do the cards say that will offer you a bit more clarity on that. So shuffling for our lovely Taurians and just seeing what will give you more. Oh, that one really wanted to come out. 
And let's go with that one as well. Okay. All right, let's go. So we have past, present, future. Just see where you've been so far. So we've got clearing. You've been doing a lot of clearing. A lot of clearing and I think for you because we've just come out of this period where you were thinking very much about your thinking and um, trying to adopt new ways of thinking you will have been doing a lot of mental clearing you might have been doing some work on yourself um, with particular modalities that help you to change beliefs or to you know to tap things away you know tapping EFT things like that theta healing um, NLP just clearing, trying to clear, and if you haven't been doing it in that formalised way, you might have just been trying to clear your diary, clear your space, your physical space, your environment, so that you can just think more clearly and gain more clarity in life in general about where you're going. So this is what we're moving away from as we come into this new energy of the sun being in Leo. So you used some of that energy last time of um, looking at changing your thinking to do the clearing work that was necessary. That's fantastic. So coming into this period now, where are you? The goddess of justice. So there's a karmic tone to all of this. Some of this clearing that you've been doing has been an attempt to try to rebalance the scales, to try to get things very clear, at least in your heart and mind, about you know, where you've come from in the past, what you've been doing, how you can set the stage now to really move forward in a big way. So with this taking this new leap in terms of home environment and emotional security, I feel self-forgiveness is a lot of this. That's what I'm hearing and it makes sense with this a card combination that you're feeling a sense of wanting to balance rebalance all of your karma so that you can really leap forward and feel good about being wherever you are because we always take ourselves with us wherever we go um, and it also it's also about injustices perceived injustices that you feel have been done to you I feel there's a really strong sense of mirroring a really strong sense of wanting to put things right inside yourself and outside of yourself. So the way to do that with, in terms of injustices, injustices that have been done to you is to understand um, that what actually seems an injustice has been a blessing, is actually a blessing, is what the card is saying. So when you start to see things in that way, that's what really liberates you and gives you the freedom to go ahead and to find, tap into the joy again, you know, to really feel good about yourself and about your life. So to understand that what seems an injustice is actually a blessing, so that you can begin to let go of the past, let go of any perceived wrongs or hurts or anything like that, and that will help you in some way to feel much more at home within yourself and to find peace and balance wherever you are. Okay, so... And what you're moving into is goddess of compassion. Self-criticism is diminishing your sense of self-worth. So this is a really interesting combination, isn't it? It seems to be a theme for a lot of us at the moment. And possibly it's because the sun's in Leo. And before we take this leap into what makes us really, really happy, we are having to clear the decks, clear away the things that have been on our minds or at the back of our minds or deep in the unconscious, you know, stopping us from from feeling that happiness. When was the last time you really, really smiled? I mean, fully smiled or really, really laughed and really felt happy and felt really good within yourself. So this is gonna be the time to recapture that feeling, to reevaluate what it will take for you to get that feeling back into your life, Taurus, okay? And, um, and if it means a change of residence or it means um, a change in the way that you look at yourself, um, in terms of, you know, being kind enough to yourself to feel emotionally secure from within, and that's what needs to happen. Okay, so gentleness, gentleness, gentleness all around. Gentle people around you, gentle environments, um, you know, spending as much time out of the city as you can if you live in a city. Gentleness all the way. And it might be for some Cancerians, I'm not telling all Cancerians to move house, but if that's something that you're considering, it might be that you find, I mean, uh, Taurians, sorry, 
Um, it might be Taurus that you find that you are looking to move to somewhere that's a bit less urban as well. So, advice card. Angel of Finances. Honour and give thanks for the blessings you are about to receive. That's great. So just thinking about how this all ties together in terms of being asked to leap into the new, being asked to um, let go of fears about career and embrace uh, new possibilities in terms of emotions, emotional well-being and home life. You're also being asked to trust that things are going to be okay in terms of the finances. You're being asked to have a sense, a greater sense of awareness that you are stronger, a lot stronger than you think and a lot more capable is the word that I'm hearing, a lot more capable than you know. So yeah, there are, there are lots of new possibilities coming for you, lots of things waiting to open up for you when you take a little bit of a leap and I feel that for some you'll already have a sense of what those possibilities are and you'll be wanting to move, possibly to move towards them. Okay, and the outcome, if you keep going in that sense, Angel of Manifestation, what a fantastic combination. So, I'm also just to say, um, I've got to, I have recorded a manifesting meditation that you might find useful, and since we've got this huge solar eclipse with this new moon this month, you might want to do that and really, really visualise the perfect home for you, the perfect environment that's really going to support you. So that's great. I'm glad the cards have reminded me of that. Your efforts, determination and perseverance have paid off. So you've got a lot to look forward to there, Taurus, moving through. Okay, you've got three cards here. You've got relaxation, angel of relaxation. Let go of the de desired outcome and you'll get what you want. So visualise it, but do it with love. In Infuse the whole thing with love, not with attachment. Um, God of the underworld says, something which no longer serves you is about to end. Could be a home, could be an emotional situation that triggers you. Um, and the angel of pleasure, there you go, take pleasure in the things you do. Bring back the happiness, bring back the joy, the celebration, have fun. You know, you need to be in a situation where you can bring people into your home and have some music playing and light some candles and make a nice meal. It's that sort of feeling that I'm getting. That there seems, for some reason, there seems to be, or there seems to have been, a, a bit of a halt on that sort of energy in your home. And I've just heard feng shui. <laughs> So you need to see your home again as a place where you can have enjoyment rather than just go to sleep. And a lot will come from that in terms of practicalities, in terms of changing your finances, in terms of being able to enjoy life more and maybe even bring new people and career opportunities in. Um, so it's really about cutting away from the old and the things that no longer serve you and allowing the new, the new energy um, to actually come in. So let's have a quick look at the guardian angel cards as well. These are the, these lovely cards are the angels, gods, and goddesses cards by Tony Carmine Salerno, which are really gorgeous. So I'm hearing pink. Which one? This one. Okay. Rainbow. Okay. So the card says you are a jewel, even though you may not see it. Even in the darkest times, you shine eternally bright. You are surrounded by an aura of love and a pot of gold waits beyond the horizon. <laughs> All will clear soon. So that's really weird because on my thumbnail for the manifesting meditation, there is actually a leprechaun with a pot of gold. So that's double confirmation for you, Taurus, and really confirmation that it would be great for you to do that um, meditation. I also felt when I said that, when I said you're a jewel, I felt that there was some sort of other meaning there. So maybe you're one of the Taurians who are really getting into crystals. Taurians are great with the earth, with the gardens, with gardening. So maybe you'd find it helpful to have crystals around you a bit more at the moment or to or to begin to explore them if you haven't done so far. Maybe you're connected with jewellery in some way. Maybe you're <laughs> about to get engaged or something like that. There's some other... When I said... Uh, when I read that word, it sort of lit up, spirit lit that up for me. So there's something else there. Um, all will clear soon. Trust and continue to follow your dreams. You are eternally blessed. So following your dreams and home, this tells me 
there's definitely for some of you there is a connection with changing home connect connection between changing home and finding a path a career path that's going to be really really fulfilling so congratulations with that Taurus and good luck with it I hope you have a fantastic August and I'll speak to you again in September take care bye